Hi, I invite you to the lecture about pelvic girdle connections. We will find out about joints and ligaments which are necessary to keep everything as a whole. In the pelvic girdle, we distinguish the following connections. These are sacroiliac joints, a connection between sacrum and hip bone, then pubic symphysis, a connection of pubic bones from the anterior side, and various pelvic ligaments, which we will discuss later. Let's start with the easiest connection, that is the pubic symphysis. We see the figure with the anterior view of frontal cross-section. Between the aforementioned in recent lecture symphysial surfaces of the pubic bones, there is interpubic disc here. Due to the cartilage structure of the discussed disc, this type of connection can be called synchontrosis. In this case, there are two stabilizing ligaments. One is the superior pubic ligament, running from one pubic tubercle to the another, and arcuate pubic ligament, running in the analogous manner below the interpubic disc. Remember that the pubic symphysis is a connection which could be stretched, especially in women during labor, when hormones allow a significant extension of the pubic bones, so that the child safely exits to the outside. The joint that connects the pelvic girdle from the back is the sacroiliac joint. It is a plain joint because the joint surfaces have a flat shape. Hi guys, thank you for watching my video. If you are interested in video lectures, I invite you to my website schoolofanatomy.com. You can find there full versions of lectures and quizzes divided into topics. School of Anatomy is also a place where you can compete with other students, earnings, achievements and medical ranks. So, if you want to be on time with anatomical knowledge, subscribe my channel and newsletter. Links are below this pin. Thank you for your attention. See you at the School of Anatomy. Maciej Haberka.